Thomas, with your last-minute COVID problems before the match, I'm yeah. sure you would have taken 2-0 going into the game, but what do you feel about 2-0 now? Well, it seems like a deserved win. It's an it's a excellent result because it reflects the game. I know what you mean. We could have scored even more, but this is, is football. It's, it's hard to score, and against a team like Tottenham, it's even hard to create chances. But we did uh, create a lot through through second half. Some huge chances. Uh, yeah, could have been possible to score more. So, yeah, the, this is the downside of it. The upside is that, that everybody knows it's going to be a tough match. It's not decided yet, and uh, we have to work for 90 minutes in the same in the same quality, same level of commitment again. You spoke to us beforehand about fresh legs. Did we see that with your really fast start? Yeah, we, we saw it. It was impressive. But uh, honestly, I, like, I mean, it's easy, it's easy said we have fresh legs. But if you haven't played a lot in, in the last matches like Malang, like Hakim and Saul, it's also sometimes unfair to, to, to put them in a big match like this and, and demand to show fresh legs. But uh, yeah, we rested Georgi over the last over the last days. Uh, Romelu rested himself a little bit in the in the last game. So yeah, uh, we could see this. We had a strong start, um, and 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 never lost the focus and never lost the commitment. So it was good. It was uh, the guys from the bench had a huge commitment, and the guys, like I said, who did not play so much in the last weeks were strong. To get Antonio Conte to go to a back four at half time, you must have been doing something right tactically yourselves. What was the setup in that first half? It was slightly different, wasn't it? Yeah, we played 4 4 2 when we had the ball because <laughs> there, was, there were no five left who played in a back five. So after Thiago being positive uh, yesterday, we took the decision, to, took the chance to, to inform the team that maybe this is the solution for today. Um, took some minutes on the training pitch to, to, to walk through the, the, the principles and um, I felt the team very, very focused on that to, to do it right and, and uh, uh, we had some, some, some moments in defending where we, where we created a back five because uh, we did not want to have the overload on the side with the wing backs. We normally play also with a back five so we know that it's difficult to defend in a, in a four. So, yeah. But the boys were very, the, the team was very focused on it and very open-minded and uh, was uh, was real quality game because we did not allow chances, which is very hard against the front three of them. What did you make of Romelu Lukaku's performance tonight? Good, absolutely happy. You know, I, I was pretty sure that he is not affected by it. I, I saw him on a, see him on a daily basis and um, even in the last days and, and, and yesterday and, and today he, he seemed to be relaxed, he seemed to be fine with the situation and, and also mentally uh, moved on and, and I mean Romelu can handle pressure and he can handle adversity and, and um, it was a good performance, he contributed a lot to, to our defensive setup and created and had some chances so Good, good to go again. Have you picked up a couple of worrying injuries tonight with Havertz and Aspilicueta? Well, Kai, I hope Aspi is only a cramp. I, uh, he said so. So hopefully we got away with that. And and uh, Kai is the is uh, I think he broke his finger. So let's see, played through uh, played through the pain for the first half, but then it was too much, and and hopefully it's not not too big an issue. Well done tonight. Thanks.